Because relating is secular. You wake up, you are conscious, you think, and then thus you relate to others. So if there's any problem in relating to others, it must stem from the root of self. So it's not a relationship issue, or a job issue, or an economic issue. It's you. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> it's, it's a reality. Now, if we realize that it is, it is them, then we stop placating to all these symptoms and all these externalities <laughs> of what the real problem is. Mm -hmm. And we begin to challenge them to develop within themselves as a god and a goddess. Mm -hmm. They say, well, I need to work. I have nothing to eat. <laughs> you say, well, wait. You a goddess. Go make something to eat. Mm. Make mm. something with a god. I have no money. I cannot eat. Damn you can't house eat full of food. <laughs> Land full of vegetation. <laughs> full of people and laborers for nation building and you ain't got nothing to eat but you got to go get under the white boy. It's not an issue of economics and, and resources and money. It's an issue of self-esteem. Mm -hmm. It's an issue of confidence. And I, 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 I follow that to go and say that this dependency that the black man, woman has on the black man is based upon her personal insecurity. And we have placated through that for centuries. You know what I'm saying? We have placated that for generations to her insecurity. We have not challenged her to be a goddess. We have felt like it, it's our responsibility to compensate for her lack of self-realization. <laughs> what can I do for you? Well, I'll help you. And now a new consciousness of man has developed. So when they come to all that, we say, well, God has developed. You a goddess. Quit complaining. Quit coming plain and come extraordinary. <laughs> you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Quit complaining. Come and plain it. We're not challenging them to be goddesses because they've hid, they've hid behind this bullshit ass matrix that work for the white boy. Yeah. Say, well, the man is to provide her. And this man ain't do this. And I'm a single woman. I'm a single mother. I said, did you come out the womb a single woman? Then damn it, you came out the womb as a single mother. Yeah. Mm. Literally. You came out the womb single. And your survival is based upon your singular enlightenment within conscience as a single human being. Because if you don't enlighten singularly, mm -hmm. you'll pull down anybody in double law. You'll pull down, if you don't enlighten as, a sing enlighten as a single being, you can only dim the light of those whom you come in contact with. Mm. So you were born a single mom, so stop playing that. Well, you don't provide this and provide that for me. Nature is the provider, the natures, universal law is the provider. The universe provides. It's the law of reciprocity, cause and effect. Your effect... Your, the provision comes from your cause. The effect is the provision. Y'all don't know what I'm saying. If you cause something, the effect has been provided. If you're causing nothing, nothing will be provided. No one can do that for you. Your energy must be extended into the universe. And then it comes back to you as your provisions. So what are you extending that's not providing you the ultimate result that you want? It's no, it's the man's job to provide. I said, no, your effect, your cause, your effect. A man cannot provide your cause to develop your effect. You know what I'm saying? Your cause and your effect is orientated within your own being. And if your cause is strong, Harriet Tubman, Nzinga, Nefertiti, if your strongest, if your cause is strong, then your effect will be strong, which is wealth and prosperity. If your cause is weak, you can't keep blaming the man because you, you, there is no cause. You have no cause. You stand for nothing, so you have nothing. Mm -hmm. You stand for nation building and black empowerment. You have 196,940,000 square miles of planet Earth. You stand for nothing, you have nothing. And you complain about having a nothing man. Mm -hmm. But you own nothing. You have no cause. You live for nothing. Well, what are you living for? to buy something else, to purchase